we are live. Welcome to Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 6, Thoughts. This episode is called The Tragedy. I quite like the opening where Mando calls Grogu by his name now that he knows it. Chuckles. Looks like we're going to have to travel the last stretch. Windows down. Smash cut. He's using the jetpack. Very cool. Love me a good smash cut gag. Ahsoka told me I just had to get you here and you do the rest. And there's a ship and it's like, well, that was fast. I appreciate that Mando does try to get Grogu out. Turns out it's a force field. Are you Jedi? You dress Jedi. I'm a simple man making my way through the galaxy. Django prequel quote. Like my father before me. Ooh, OT Luke quote. Very nice. And... She survived because she got cyborg parts. You know, Fennec did. Makes sense. Very cool action with the stormtroopers, Boba and Fennec. I love when, like, when the machine gun forces Fennec to run, and then she uses a boulder to crush stormtroopers and the machine gun. Really, really cool when Mando and Fennec fight off stormtroopers back to back. And... Boba being a badass with multiple gadgets and weapons, uses the rocket on his back to shoot one of the transport ships and knocks out the other one. Dark Troopers, badass. So that really was them at the end of the previous episode. Disney, if you're listening, if you make a Kyle Katarn Disney Plus Star Wars show, that would be amazing. Holy crap, one of the Dark Troopers actually didn't manage to grab the child before Mando could stop them. And one of the only things left with Mando's ship after it's blown up is the Beskar Spear, since it takes a lot to damage Beskar. And Mando accepts the armor belongs to Boba, and there's apparently, like, you, you know, if you translate the, the, what's written, you can, like, there's, yeah, there's, there's stuff written there. It's not, like, yeah, in, in the language, I forget what it's called. And Boba and Fennec vow to help get the child back. Very cool. I need your help. Name it. And he wants her to let go Bill Burr, I want to say, the comedian's name is, to help get to the Empire. Makes sense. He was like a sniper for them, I think. And he would be indebted to Mando for even a brief release from prison. And Mando does already know. He has to watch him closely. So they've gotten that out of the way. And Cardin wants to help, but there are rules she has to follow. And then he tells her they have the kid and, you know, forget the rules. The child is throwing stormtroopers around in a cell. I guess this is his version of bouncing a ball like Steve McQueen. Put it in shackles. We'll need your tiniest, most adorable pair of little baby handcuffs. Directed by Robert Rodriguez, it shows. I heard that Timur Morrison based the movements and, like, the battle cry face for Boba on Maori, since, you know, his, his culture, his ancestors' culture, something like that. Very cool. Absolutely love that. And yeah, that's it for this episode. Yeah, really, really excited to see where it goes from here. I really did not expect the, the child to get kidnapped, as it were. But yeah, and they're really turning, like, Moff Gideon. Man, I can't wait to see him lose. Holy crap. He is a freaking monster, and, you know, Star Wars is known for just the such hateable, you know, we love to hate their, their villains. So, yeah, looking forward to next week. Catch you then.